Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the brand new 2024 Prius Prime in the XSE Premium Package. So this is the very top of the line. It's got all the goodies in it. I'll go over all those in a minute. It is a five passenger hatchback. They are a two liter four cylinder engine with a lithium ion battery. So it is the lighter weight, more efficient battery. They have 220 horsepower, which is very impressive for the Prius Prime. It's really zippy, got a lot of good get up and go. And they are going to be averaging 4.9 liters per 100 kilometers combined, which is going to be about 58 miles per gallon. That's if you were to not plug this in. If you plug this in, of course, you get a 64 kilometer electric range. So some people might even average one liter per hundred kilometers combined. I just had a Prius Prime, an older generation, which had a lower range that had an average of one liter per hundred kilometers combined. So very impressive, just depends on your lifestyle and what kind of driving that you're doing. So I'm gonna go over the exterior, the interior, and I'm gonna answer any questions you guys have. If you enjoy this video please feel free to like subscribe and follow along as i'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 2024 models as well let's get started on this prius prime here we go so before i go over the exterior features i wanted to showcase a few of these exterior colors so this is called cutting edge silver as you can see it has such a nice metallic sheen to it looks extremely sharp really brilliant in the sunlight a very sophisticated silver so this is cutting edge silver now to our left here we have wind chill pearl white this is a premium paint and again a very dazzling white this is a cool tone white and again just like the cutting edge silver has such a beautiful sheen to it very much like frost in the morning just a beautiful color and one more color is Guardian Grey. Now this color, just like the Reservoir Blue I'm about to show you, is a very creamy, kind of not a solid color, I would say. It's not as metallic as the other colors. So it's a really beautiful gray. It really stands out, very solid looking. So those being shown, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the Reservoir Blue and the exterior goodies. All right, so starting with the exterior, this is the Reservoir Blue. I really love this blue. It is a nice dark, kind of a creamy color. It's not a metallic fleck, very solid looking, really stands out, has a nice pop to it. Along the front end, we have parking sensors along there. It also has this 360 degree camera, which I'll show you inside really love the new sporty look of these. Doesn't look like a Prius at all anymore. You have 19 inch alloy wheels. These are on mud and snow tires. They look really sharp. I love this, this design, very like kind of crisscross looking. They do have foldable mirrors front and back. They have blind spot monitors in them, which is great for when someone's coming up from behind you. Nice big quarter windows, of course. Really sleek look. Tinted back windows. I love the back door handles are built up top. Kind of makes it look like a coupe. You have a 40 liter gas tank. And in the back here, we have parking sensors again. We also have a six inch ground clearance. In this top model, it is a power hatch. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's take a look at the interior. All right, so starting in the hatch, a first for the Prius Prime is a power back hatch. Very quick opening too, I might add. So that's super cool. Otherwise you can hit a button on the outside to open it. In the back, we have carpet mats, a charger for the 110 and a cargo net. There's even a little storage space down here, which is handy for your charge cord and a tire patch repair kit. This guy comes off too. The seats fold down. So I'll show you what that looks like inside. 
Boop, nice and easy. That's a handy feature now, especially for short people like myself. So in the back here, nice soft text leather along the door handles and the seating. Nice honeycomb rubber mats. I like this perforation in here. These are heated seats. So not only are they heated, but you also have a couple USB ports and a 1500 watt outlet. Here we have a couple cup holders and of course child safety uh, anchors, map holder on this side, not on the side, handles, lights, action. This guy comes down and then uh, this will fold down with it. You even have, sorry, I forgot to point out when I was in the back there, a 1500 watt outlet three prong. But folds very nice and flat, lots of space. And then to the front here. Again, soft text leather, power windows, mirrors, locks, and memory seats for one and two driver. Power adjustable seat with lumbar support. I really like this red stitching in the sides. Very nice upholstery, like the piping, the double red. Looks very sharp. All right, I'm in. I love this rose gold, like a dry, dusty rose kind of a color. It's kind of romantic. Again, love the interior, like the kind of cupped seats keeps you in place, but they are nice and flexible. So they're comfy. They're not going to be cutting into your legs by any means. I find people really like these seating. Put on the brake, push button start, and it pushes forward. It's one of those nice... Uh, entry exits where it's helpful. <laughs> so let's start with your climate control. You have heated high, medium, and low and cooled seats. High, medium, and low for both sides of course. Your temperature is here, your fan speed is here, and the direction of where you want it going is there. I know some people are like, oh it doesn't have dual zone climate control. Well the cabin it is quite spacious, but it's not huge. I find that's kind of not the not the end of the world. And then over here, you have AC air circulating inside versus uh, fresh air coming in. Heated uh, front glass and rear glass, as well as your mirrors. Down below, we have the different USB ports there, USB-C, cigarette-style charger, and a little hidden compartment. Cup holders coming back down this way. Again, has a nice dried rose gold kind of a color there. This is a shifter just like the old school Prius where it's a toggle. As you can see what modes we're going into and peep for park. B is like an engine brake. It uses a transmission to slow you down and saves your brakes. Right here is uh, your charger, wireless charger. There's all these little Easter eggs, like there was the one in the hidden compartment area. This is a little power button. The green light means it's on. When it turns orange, it means your phone's charging. So when your phone's in there, the uh, glass faces this way and the battery goes against this wall. And then we have our drive mode. So this will pop up on the main screen and tell us if we're in sport or eco or normal. It also comes up on this screen here so it's nice and clear and easy to see and then park brake comes on automatically when we park comes off automatically when we put it in drive or reverse then these are for our electric mode so we have this button hvev so you can either be in full hybrid vehicle or full electric vehicle so you can decide when you want to use your electric range so if you're driving on the highway for half hour and then you're going to be doing city driving for an hour. Maybe you want to drive on hybrid for that highway driving and then pure electric for the city driving because it's going to get you farther doing stop and go traffic. And then auto HV EV, the car does what it sees best. So it'll just take care of it. It'll go back and forth between hybrid and electric and then 
hold charge. So when you press and hold this button, it will put it into a charge mode. So it will use your gas engine to recharge your electric battery. And then traction control and park brake hold. So when you have that feature on, every time you come to a complete stop, it will hold you. You can take your foot off the brake and use gas to go again. A little light indicator will come up on the screen in orange, letting you know you're being held. A couple more USB ports in your little compartment there. Nice and squishy for your elbow. And then up top, so we have, you can also maybe see the red light, the ambient lighting. Looks really cool there. I'll show you this too while I'm at it. Glove box, another one of those Easter eggs. Okay, so we have this gigantic screen <laughs> and I believe it's 12.3 inches. It's compatible with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can use Hey Google, Hey Siri, uh, it has maps all completely up to date. It does come with the Safety Connect, Drive Connect, Remote Connect, Service Connect subscriptions. Um, and you can enable them down the road too. So you have one of those is the SOS. So you can call fire truck, ambulance, police, has stolen vehicle locator very handy so that's all uh, integrated in there with the toyota remote connect app while i'm up here i really like that these are just like a gentle touch um i think it's kind of cool very futuristic feeling and these like led space lights i just feel like i'm in a spaceship and then we have our digital rear view mirrors so right now it's a regular mirror of course you got three garage door openers and then you have so right now we're looking out the back window and we can see you know there's a car behind us there's a couple headrests and some pillars but with this feature it is a digital rear view mirror so it's a way wider clearer field of view and you can zoom in zoom out you can make this go up or down you can see what's directly behind you and i love it for when you're on the highway because it stays on while you're driving if you want and it just is so much clearer safer and especially I always say for motorcycles because when you're in this mode you know a motorcycle can easily fit in the tiniest spaces when they're coming up from far away so this is really handy it just totally uh, takes out all blind spots so very, very helpful. Really like that. Most people just drive with those on 24 seven. And then further up top, we have our mirrors with our lights that come on. Very cute. Here we go to the side. Got our sun guards, love those. And then further up, we have our big old panoramic moonroof. This is a fixed glass. It is um, not going to open, but we have shades. So maybe the kids in back want to look at the stars and you don't. Maybe you want the sunshine, but your kids don't want to get burnt or your doggos. So it's pretty cool that you can um, individually change both of them. And then let's come over here. We've got rain sensing wipers. So those just go with the speed of the rain underneath here we have our 360 degree camera so right now it's looking from inside the vehicle out but if we tap this guy it is a top-down view so really cool I love that feature I'm going to oops nope wrong one I'm gonna change the body color to blue because we are blue there now we're talking. So I really like that. I also very much love when you put it into drive in this mode, when you hit that button there, now we can see directly in front of us. So right now, if we look out, we can see that BZ4X there, um, but we can't see directly below our nose, but this is showing us. So this is saying, hey, you're kind of close to that, that little yellow line. This is where you're gonna wind up in a couple feet. So I might mean, not accurate on, the exact distance but it's right in front of your nose so this is your nose here and it's just really handy so if you're pulling up to a curb and you're like how close am I to that 
pop this on and you can see and you won't skim your bumper. Uh, you can also use this little A feature for automatic. So every time you drop below 12 kilometers an hour, this screen will show up. It'll project forwards and this top down view. So if you're coming up to a red light and there's a car in front of you or a truck and a hitch or a flat deck and you can't see how close you are to it, this is awesome. This will save you from bumping into people. Okay, put this back into park. Oh, and if you, of course, uh, put it into sorry, reverse, you have the same view, top-down view and a backup camera. We are close to that car. <laughs> okay, so that is that. And then this other button is a park assist. So it'll help you parallel park and pull into parking spots. It's wild. It took me a while to get used to it, but it will spin the wheel on its own. You can control the brake of how fast you're going. So this is a heated leather steering wheel. I like that they have finally, in Toyota, not just made this piece heated, because it used to just be kind of your 10 and 2 area. Now this piece is heated too. So I love that. I guess maybe they were trying to be safe and be like, keep your hands down here. But when you're turning the wheel, you're grabbing up there and it's a cold spot. Not anymore. That is warm. <laughs> so thank you, Toyota, for doing that. Over here, we have our full speed dynamic cruise control, lane trace assist, all those good things. It'll stop and go with traffic, read the lines on the road. You can determine the distance between you and the car in front of you, four different settings. So super cool, very um, safe, very helpful. <laughs> Mode toggles between AM, FM, Bluetooth, and SXM. And these will go through your presets once you have those set or your Spotify or whatnot. Over here we have your volume, little talk button. You can say things like call Elizabeth if you're not using Hey Google, Hey Siri, or Hey Toyota. These buttons are going to go through the display on your dash. So you've got a lot going on up there too. A nice big screen. You have your, you know, your outside temperature, your kilometers, your uh, do, 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 fuel tank. <laughs> That's the word. All those things are on there, but you can go through everything. The average of fuel economy is going to be wrong because we're only 28 kilometers old, but as you can see, lots and lots of adjustments, turning on and off, setting all your different uh, safety settings. You have so many safety settings, pre-collision system uh, that detects cyclists, pedestrians, and cars and gives you 10% off your insurance. You have blind spot monitors in your mirrors that light up when cars come up behind you, safe exit assist, you've got parking sensors, rear cross traffic, braking and alert. So just wild, lots and lots of great features, even road sign assist, so helpful. And doo -doo -doo -doo, down here with our heated steering wheel, windshield de-icer heats the physical glass along the base of the windshield wipers to help thaw them out if they are frosted on and then automatic high beams so those if that feature is on your high beams come on when it's pitch black and they shut off with oncoming lights or tail lights and then your trip odometer there and your brightness for your dash I didn't mention auto lights and rain sensing wipers they go with the speed of the rain telescopic wheel so you can decide where you want that to go and lock it in place. And again, power windows, mirrors, locks, memory seats, really great for um, either if two people are driving often or if you have any mobility issues and maybe you need the seat way down and back when you get in. And then once you're in, you want it to be forward. A lot of people have it set like that. So that's also a cool feature. JBL audio, got the fanciest sound system out there. Nice big quarter windows, small pillars. Love Toyota does that. Great visibility, beautiful interior, super comfy, and such a good get up and go. I really love this car. What a great new redesign, hey? What do you think? All right, so what did you guys think of the brand new 2024 Prius Prime in the XSC Premium Package? I'd love to hear your thoughts or any of your questions in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 2024 models coming out as well. Until next time, take care.